Hi, I'm waving at the camera, but you can't see me. <laughs> technical issues. <laughs> My name is Christian. I'm playing a female cat named Zoe. The pronouns are she, her. She thinks she's better than everybody else. So that's fun. Nice. Justin? Hey, everybody. I'm Justin. I'm playing Grey Claw. Both our pronouns are Ian. Grey Claw. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> Never mind. We're good. You'll find out who Grey Claw yep. is. Uh -oh. This is a surprise <laughs> now. Surprise. <laughs> Spencer? Uh, yeah, I'm Spencer. I'm playing a pussyfoot cat, which is kind of like a, a friendly cat to all. In fact, that's what the type of cat I am because I'm a feral cat and I'm a show cat. And my name is Toon because I love tuna. And uh, he just shortened it to Toon because he's a, he's a street cat. But he makes friends with everyone because he is purebred. He's a Turkish van cat. Greyclaw is keeping stuff secret, but Toon uh, loves to share all sorts of stuff. And so he's good. Good friends. He watches out for Grey Claw and gets him ham and gets himself tune, a tuna. And of course, we have Dalton. Hi, I'm Dalton. I have he, him pronouns. I'm playing a he, him cat named Peridot. It's a ceiling cat who likes to clamber around up high so he can get a good look at all those pesky, untrustworthy, dirty humans that are roaming around his house. They just come and go as they please. They're barely here. They don't <laughs> participate. They they don't feed me. The box feeds me. They don't clean the, the box. There's a box that cleans. Hey, that box. Uh, that box. It's crazy. They just leave dirty dishes around and don't do anything. Don't do anything at all. So, I want to know if your cat, the cat that you're playing, what? ever hid anything from or lied to their parents, so it could either be their mom or their owner if they have one, or a fellow loved one if Grey Claw and Toon are the only cats that know each other. I hide stuff all the time. I hide stuff everywhere. I've got Elaborate. shit stashed what do you hide? all over the place. Just yourself or what do you hide? Oh no, all sorts of like little gadgets and trinkets and some knives mostly, like sharp objects. I hide them all over the place. Mostly knives. Mostly. I love it. Yep, just sharp <laughs> stuff. I hide sharp, shiny things everywhere. Now I'm just imagining your owner like reaching for something like under like a couch or something. And, ah, yeah. you put a knife down there. Yeah, he's reaching Can't into my space. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do that. Yeah, well, no, actually. So Toon has a little hidey hole in the streets. Maybe it's like a house or something, and it's like he moves like a loose brick. He keeps some of his, his things there since he's like a feral cat, and he's on the streets all the time. So he has a little space to kind of keep things there. And one time, he found in the garbage an unopened can of Spam. And he has hidden it in his little hidey hole, not from Grey Claw, but is saving it for a special occasion that him and Grey Claw can open it up and eat it. He's thinking a birthday, but he doesn't really remember birthdays, so. <laughs> question is, is it really for a special occasion or has he just not figured out how to open the can? Okay, it, yeah, he he doesn't know how to open it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great Claw has never hidden anything from anyone, largely because he has not had things to hide. He was taken from his mother at a young age and bought by pretentious college students who wanted to play house, but when they broke up, they didn't care where Greyclaw went. Aww. So he cast off his, his human name and adopted the name Greyclaw and began walking the streets where he didn't have enough to hide anything or anywhere to hide things Aww. because he's a transient. Zoe, she likes to stash away. She can get up on the counter and seal away, you know, sardines or little pieces of fish that are being cut up by the chef. That's why they don't have the best relationship. <laughs> she definitely likes to, to take that away and kind of hide it in her safe place. But, you know, she eats it pretty quickly. She knows it goes bad if she doesn't. Then she's got some toys that she likes to hide away in different spots, you know? So wherever she is in the house, she's got a toy to play with. I'm like licking up some like chicken grease. And I go, hey, Perry, do you think the scream sounded like that girl here? I don't know. Can you get her to scream again so I can tell? Want me to make her scream? Oh, no, no. That's not my job. I cozy up to them and I get pets. Why would I ever make them scream? Well, you're the you know one what? who asked if it's and if her scream sounded Grey the same. Claw runs in. <laughs> tries to like kind of like tackle her. <laughs> All right, we're going to have to do a scrapping roll for that. 
but you are considered the right cat for the job since you are a scrapper, Great Claw. Huh, that's two happy cats. And I jump up off the wall and then I kind of like jump off her head and kind of like kick her over and then land. She screams. Mm -hmm. It is incredibly high pitch. It is much higher pitched than the scream that Perry heard outside. Nah, guys, that wasn't it. We gotta try a different human. Okay. However, she starts bawling and she- I'm Fucking sensitive, all these humans. <laughs> she chases Greyclaw and says, Susie, get back here and help me with those cookies. And Susie goes back and she seems to pout and tries to explain that the cat bounced off her head and the cook says that her imagination is far too wild. <laughs> Our good cats would never do that. <laughs> so Grey Claw, you have successfully escaped the kitchen into the ground floor halls from the clutch of the girl. What about Toon and Perry? Hey, Perry, let's follow after him. Yeah. Maybe there's more people to, to make scream. Mm -hmm. I think so. And then follow him out into the hall. I make sure to like do a to mean mug the girl on our on my way out. <laughs> just before you go out the door, you yeah. Just like... <laughs> she, just goes, she does not notice. <laughs> Humans are pretty oblivious. You'll come to find out. But you're cat, so you already knew that. The sweeper's yep. getting closer to you. Oh, us. Yep. Oh, I I slap it. <laughs> slap the Get... I slap the, the thing that's, <laughs> that's on the floor. Give me a scrapper roll. <laughs> Oh no, sad cats. Oh no. Sad cats, double one. Oh double one, no, sad snake cats. eyes. That's real bad. Did you roll the right cat for the job one? Oh, you didn't, uh, but that's okay. You are the right cat for the job. So technically one of these sad cats is a happy cat, but because sweet. you rolled double ones, you have an embarrassing success. So just oh, I hit it, that and then down. and then I don't realize that my tail's down, so my tail gets a little like stuck by the thing, and then I I just freak out. You do so. The maid gently shoes you down the hall towards Zoe. I'm looking at her angrily the whole time. Hey, Zoe. Perry thought he heard a scream earlier. Did you hear any screams? I think so. Okay, I, and it wasn't like I a was little girl. Though. I was though. I don't. I don't know. It. I. I think so. Well, this is your house. Do you know which direction it came from? I was sleeping. They woke oh. me up. I don't know. Have you ever experienced that before where you're sleeping and a, yeah. a sound wakes you up, but you don't know what the sound was and it was loud and you don't know where it came from and you're scared and somebody could be trying to come in and take all your seafood? Oh, yeah. I was with you up until the being scared the seafood. But yeah. <laughs> I like my seafood. Who would? I mean, think of the terrible kind of person you'd have to be, the human, you know, take all my seafood away. Yeah, I mean, like, I love taking tuna, which is completely different from whatever the seafood is. I want to try it, though. What's the seafood like? I mean, it's uh, uh, it's it's just food. Oh, OK, that's cool. That sounds delicious. It's my diet. I see it. It's food. I like it. <laughs> I see food and I eat it. <laughs> Southern exposure allows plenty of sunlight. There are little tables, carpets, divans, trays, and knickknacks. Very cozy, lots of plants, lots of sunlight. We'll pretend that this bed is like a little, like a, like a day bed. As soon as you enter this room, you find Mistress lying awkwardly on the floor. She's oh. breathing shallowly. Her eyes are closed. Nearby, there's a spilled tray of butter cucumber sandwiches. I'm going over to the sandwiches. Yep. <laughs> I proceed to lick the butter from the sandwich. Yep. It tastes good. <laughs> I want to step on the weird human. She does not stir. Jump. You do so. She is not waking up. I would like to bring this this to Zoe's attention that this human is acting strange. Have you licked her nose? I lick her nose. I like noses. They taste good. I haven't tried that. I try that. It you does like... not work. She is unresponsive. Zoe doesn't work. The nose... Did you like it? Did it taste good? No, it tasted. No, it didn't taste like anything. This is oily. <laughs> Sometimes it's oily. <laughs> you should lick the butter. It's, it's, it's way better. Hey, wait. This isn't right, though. Humans usually get mad when you eat their things. That's what yeah, I'm I saying. I walk over to the... I didn't do it. I walk over to the human, give her like a little tap, and then a couple little whoops. You do so. She does not respond. Something's wrong with this human. They always get mad when you do that. 
Yeah, I'm going too. As soon as you turn this corner down the hallway, you see that the maid is lying awkwardly on the floor, shallowly breathing. Is the vacuum still on? Yes. Ooh. <laughs> you know what, guys? I'm, I'm kind of good with my chicken. Should we, like, help it, though? Zoe, what are you doing? I'm going near that sweeper. Yeah. That vacuum scary. Hmm. Not worth it. You... Sweeper's too scary for me. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all on the same page, Zoe. That sweeper is no joke. I don't care how delicious that bug is. Wait, you do I'm not scared a... of it. I'm gonna kick it over. I don't understand how this thing works. <laughs> the vacuum was already fallen over because it fell over with the lady when she screamed and collapsed. And but I like... you do notice that there's a cord extending from the vacuum. Okay, right I'm gonna here. try and like pull out the plug then. Give me a cat roll. Mm, a cat roll. Roll for unplugging. Ha, two happy cats. <laughs> you do so. As soon as you un you, you how do you how do you unplug it? I like, you... grab it with my teeth and I'm not graceful, so I just just kind of like spin <laughs> and wrap myself up in it until the plug comes out as then i the plug, slap the little plug part as soon as you have pulled crack. it out the vacuum stops making any noise mm. i have vanquished the the loud thing it's dead <gasps> great job gray claw yeah i take a bite into the cord does not taste like ham <laughs> not ham <laughs> give me a cat roll do not, don't eat, it's, it's, a, it's a happy cat and a sad cat, which is very accurate to my current state. <laughs> yeah, you get a little tingle when you bite the cord, but you don't sustain an injury. Oh, well, my hair's on end for some reason. <laughs> Take myself out of the cord. <laughs> and there is buzzing from directly above you. Cats can look up, right? They're not like pigs? No, they can look up. All right, cool. I didn't realize pigs can't look up. They can't look <laughs> up? No, humans have cursed them with the inability to look skyward. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if that's a pig that? thing or if that's an all hog thing. Hmm. I'm going to look that up now. Isn't it a thing that like cows or horses can't go downstairs? I've heard that cows theoretically can't go downstairs because people will prank their schools by bringing a cow upstairs. Yes. And, upstairs. and it's like, oop, won't go I down. I don't know if that's like a wives uh -huh. tale or not, but. I, farm pigs have too much neck fat to be able to like crane their neck Lift upwards, their but head up. uh, the wild, wild boar and hogs can still. Not sure if they can. They, they, they can. can. Yeah. <laughs> Pigs are too fat to look up. Yeah, too fat. <laughs> <laughs> what a life. Goals. There oh, yeah. Cows are not go downstairs woman. because their knees don't bend right. Uh, oh. Their knees don't bend that way. Is it true for horses? I would imagine it'd be similar. I mean, dog legs bend the same way that cow and horse legs do, though, so they can go downstairs. <laughs> Horses I don't know. have a hard time going down because they have trouble seeing their feet, according to Eklund Helper. I'm going to no, do the same it... again. Pin it down, bite the head off. That worked last time. I like that move. You do so. It kills it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dinner Dinner's served. What would you like to do? Eat it. Yeah, I'm going to eat this. I'm going to bite the head off. I'm going to eat that head. Tastes like tuna. And then kind of like scooch the thing over. All right, everybody eat the tuna, tuna bug. Yeah! Oh, tuna bug. Hey, she's like tuna. <laughs> Tune goes into Kava eating frenzy, now realizing that these bugs taste exactly like tuna. And like, you see his eyes just go wide and, and like a feralness Never. takes over as he... This guy knows the way. <laughs> and when he gets a moment of clarity, he goes, you guys can have the chicken, I want the bugs. <laughs> and he goes back at it. Hey, sometimes I've seen these sticks that the humans put into the doors. Oh. Do you have one of the, the magic sticks? Zoe, do you know what the magic sticks he's referring to is? They're like little squiggly sticks. I used to talk about keys, dumbass. What's a key? What? What's a key? Is that uh, the stick? The key. Yeah. Uh, the key. Uh, key. I, I'm a house key. cat. I know some things about about things. Can I check the butler for uh, uh, for keys? You me, can. You Give me a man. notice roll. Or One well, happy cat. Um, you, let me get here. One moment. Uno momento. Sorry for bouncing around crazy styles, Ashley. <laughs> no, it's fine. 